Southeast Asia boasts a remarkable underdog story, Singapore. Once a modest player, it's defied all odds to transform into a global force. Now, with a leadership change on the horizon, questions linger in the air. Who will lead this island nation into the future? And what challenges await on the horizon? For nearly two decades, Prime Minister Li Xianlong has steered Singapore through tumultuous waters, guiding it to prosperity and prominence on the global stage. But as his tenure draws to a close, a new chapter beckons, one that promises change, renewal, and fresh perspectives. Meet Lawrence Wong, the man poised to step into Li's shoes and lead Singapore into the future. At 51, Lawrence Wong represents a new generation of leaders, tasked with steering the nation through a rapidly changing world. As Singapore's Deputy Prime Minister and Finance Minister, Wong has long been touted as Li Xianlong's successor, poised to take the reins of power and chart a course for the nation's future. This transition of leadership holds profound significance for Singapore, considering the seemingly improbable prospect of Li Xianlong relinquishing power. But what makes this leadership transition in Singapore stand out from the rest? To understand the significance of this handover, we must first journey back to the dawn of Singapore's independence, a time when Lee Kuan Yew, the founding father and visionary leader, laid the groundwork for the nation's success, establishing the People's Action Party as the cornerstone of its governance. His legacy, spanning over three decades, continues to shape Singapore's political landscape to this day. Under Lee Kuan Yew's stewardship, Singapore transformed from a struggling city-state into a global economic powerhouse, a testament to his unwavering commitment to progress and development. But as he passed the baton to his successors, the question remained. Could they uphold his legacy and navigate the challenges of a rapidly changing world? When Go Chok Tong assumed the mantle as Singapore's second prime minister in 1990, Singapore braced itself for a new era. Under his stewardship, the nation weathered storms like the Asian financial crisis and the SARS outbreak, laying the groundwork for the next chapter in its journey. And in 2004, that chapter began, with Li Xianlong stepping into the shoes of his father, Li Kuan Yew, to lead Singapore into the 21st century. But his appointment sparked debates about nepotism due to his lineage, casting a shadow over his political journey. Yet Li Xianlong was quick to refute such claims emphasizing that it was Go Chok Tong who encouraged his foray into politics. Raised in the crucible of politics, Li Xianlong's upbringing alongside his father shaped his worldview, but he carved his own path, a path marked by consultation rather than confrontation, a departure from his father's authoritarianism. Over nearly two decades at the helm, Li Xianlong has left an indelible mark on Singapore's landscape. From steering the nation through global crises to diversifying its economy, his tenure was defined by innovation and adaptation. Under his leadership, Singapore underwent a transformation, emerging as a hub of advanced industries and financial services, bolstered by a network of free trade agreements that solidified its position on the global stage. However, in 2017, accusations of nepotism resurfaced against Li Xianlong. When his siblings accused him of leveraging his authority to establish a political dynasty, and groom his son, a public servant, for political leadership. Lee vehemently refuted these allegations, highlighting his son's lack of interest in politics. But the question of succession lingers. Will Lee Xianlong prolong his tenure to cling to power, possibly paving the way for his son's ascension to the premiership? Well, in a historic announcement on April 15, 2024, Lee Xianlong shattered any notions of dynastic aspirations. He revealed his decision to step down from office on May 15, 2024, at the age of 72. Deputy Prime Minister Lawrence Wong would assume leadership in his stead, putting an end to speculation about his intentions regarding succession. Li Xianlong, in turn, will transition to the role of senior minister, offering his wealth of experience and network to the fourth-generation leadership team. To be fair, this transition was years in the making, with the seeds sown as early as 2012, when Li Xianlong expressed his aim to pass on the reins of power by the age of 70 in 2022. But then, in an unexpected turn of events, the COVID-19 pandemic struck, sending shockwaves through Singapore's economy and healthcare system. With the nation facing unprecedented challenges, 
Li Xianlong's retirement was put on hold as he rallied to guide Singapore through the storm. As if fate had another twist in store, Deputy Minister Heng Sui Keat, once positioned as the heir apparent to the Prime Minister, unexpectedly removed himself from contention. Initially hailed by the fourth-generation political leaders for his consultative leadership and vision, Heng Sui Keat's ascension seemed inevitable. After his appointment as the People's Action Party First Assistant Secretary General, but then, in a startling turn of events in 2021, Heng Sui Keat stunned the nation. With an announcement that reverberated through Singapore's political landscape, he decided to step aside from leading the People's Action Party's leadership team. His rationale? A belief that Singapore's next leader should have ample time to master the demands of governance, craft long-term strategies, and earn the trust of the people. Since he would be in his mid-60s by the time he took over the reins, he did not think that he would be the right person for the job. This shocking development dealt a significant blow to Singapore's succession strategy, prompting Li Xianlong to acknowledge the need for more time to choose his successor. In response, the fourth-generation leadership team implored Li Xianlong to remain at the helm until a suitable successor could be identified, a request he reluctantly accepted. Amidst the upheaval, a fierce competition for Singapore's highest office unfolded, with three prominent ministers swiftly emerging as frontrunners. Education Minister Chan Chun Singh, Health Minister Ong Ye Kung, and Finance Minister Lawrence Wong. As the political landscape buzzed with speculation and anticipation, Singaporeans awaited eagerly to see who would emerge victorious in this high-stakes race for leadership. Despite the earlier setback in succession planning, Li Xianlong soon identified his successor. In April 2022, Lawrence Wong was anointed as the leader of Singapore's fourth-generation political leadership, positioning him to assume the mantle of Prime Minister, and he was subsequently promoted to Deputy Prime Minister. The decision was reached after extensive consultations with cabinet ministers with a resounding majority backing Wong's leadership. But what lies behind Wong's rise to prominence? And what qualities does he possess that make him the right choice to lead Singapore into uncharted territory? His ascent to leadership wasn't just a matter of chance. Lawrence Wong's trajectory to leadership was marked by a series of pivotal roles within the government. Serving as Prime Minister Lee's principal private secretary from 2005 to 2008 provided him with invaluable insights into the inner workings of governance. Subsequently, he assumed leadership positions in key ministries, including education and national development, before taking on the role of finance minister in 2021, where he showed excellent stewardship of Singapore's finances. However, it was during the COVID-19 pandemic that Lawrence Wong rose to prominence, playing a key role in Singapore's response efforts. Tasked with co-leading the government's COVID-19 task force, Lawrence Wong spearheaded initiatives to curb the spread of the virus, implementing stringent measures to restrict movement both within and beyond Singapore's borders. His adept management of contact tracing initiatives earned him accolades for effectively containing infections and maintaining low mortality rates in the city-state. Moreover, Lawrence Wong's remarkable ability to communicate complex policies with clarity and empathy garnered widespread praise from the public. As a seasoned politician, his adept leadership during the challenging times of a global pandemic and economic instability further solidified his standing, garnering unwavering trust and support from both cabinet ministers and citizens across the nation. As Lawrence Wong assumes the mantle of Singapore's prime minister, he steps into a nation grappling with the aftermath of some of the most egregious political scandals in its history. From the corruption allegations surrounding former Transport Minister S. Iswaran to the sensational love scandal involving ex-Speaker of Parliament Tan Chuan Jin and former Member of Parliament Chung Li Hui, the city-state has been rocked by waves of controversy. Moreover, as Southeast Asia finds itself caught in the crosshairs of geopolitical tensions between global superpowers like China and the US, Wong faces the daunting task of navigating diplomatic relations with both nations. Furthermore, Singapore's reputation as one of the world's costliest places to live adds to the burden on its citizens, with inflationary pressures and a high cost of living weighing heavily on their shoulders. Against this backdrop of economic strain and political turmoil, Wong faces the formidable task of steering the nation forward. Moreover, with the upcoming general elections on the horizon, 
Wong must confront the fallout from the ruling People's Action Party's dismal performance in the 2020 polls. The party experienced its worst electoral setback since independence, losing a significant number of seats to the opposition, with the PAP's vote share plummeting from 70% in the 2015 general elections to just 61% in 2020, Wong is tasked with rebuilding public trust and securing the support of disillusioned voters amidst the backdrop of a global pandemic. In his new role, Lawrence Wong's leadership will be tested like never before, as he navigates the domestic challenges and international dynamics shaping Singapore's future. One of the initial tasks Lawrence Wong will likely tackle is addressing the gaps in Singapore's financial system, particularly after an infamous money laundering case tarnished the city-state's reputation as a world-class financial hub. What transpired in this case that involved billions and who were the individuals responsible? Watch this video to find out more.